All right, we are gonna get started very soon with this bra bulge workout. Um, I came up with a similar type of workout to this, I think two years ago, and I've just kind of like been adapting it and changing it. It's truly, truly gonna hit all around this trouble area as women have. Um, I am recording this as well for Trim Boot Camp, so I'm going to be putting it in the app, which is going to be wonderful because they love these workouts. Um, so I will actually label this bra bulge workout in the app so you'll have it forever. This replay will be good for 30 days. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We have four sections. We have an activation, an activation se section, which you guys know we do that because instead of just like a strict stretching warm up, in trim, we like to do activation so that muscle gets warmed up dynamically. And then when you work out, you're getting more effective because of the activation we do at the beginning. So that's how we do our workouts. I have everything written down here. I've gone over it like three times and I'm very excited to try this. I have heavy weights right now. So if you're watching this live, um, I have a set of 30. I probably should do 25, but uh, 25 is under a bunch of weights. I'm doing 25 and then I'm having a light weight, so I have 12. That's pretty light for back and chest. Now, shoulders and stuff, that's not super light, um, but we are wanting to do a little bit heavier. And if you are in trim VIP, make sure that you're doing progressive loads and you're getting heavier after the, at the last set, which we're not doing this one, don't worry, just as a reminder, because I know I have a lot of VIP ladies in here. Um, make sure you're going heavier, and especially every two weeks you're upping your weight or trying something different. Okay, all right, so activation first. We're gonna get started. And you can put your own music on. I don't want to cover up my voice for this live. Um, so you can have music on in the background, put it on your phone or your computer or something. I'm gonna set the timer real quick. So we're gonna do each of these exercises that I'm about to do. 30 seconds each, 10 second transition. We're only doing this one time for activation, and you can just follow my lead. Um, four exercises. I should have that ready. All right, so you're going to need your resistant band at first. Um, I'm sh usually use, you can use anything that's stretching right now. That's totally fine. Um, what we're going to do first are band pull aparts. So you're, we're just going to do that. Make sure you're at chest level. And we're going to start that very soon. Go ahead. This is warm up, so don't kill yourself. Okay, so when you're doing it, depending on how strong your resistance band is, if it's super light, you're gonna start closer together with less slack right there. If it's a little heavier, open your arms a little bit, and we're gonna get started. So you're just pulling apart and down. I want you to think of your pinkies up. I don't want you to be like this. I want you to have pinkies up, and you really wanna feel it on the ends. So you're out, coming in. So from the side, we're just opening and closing slowly. That's the beauty of resistant bands. You get resistance really well both ways. In three, two, one, go ahead and put that resistant band down. Hands behind your head, feet close together. We're just gonna do a good morning. So you have your chest up. Think of getting punched right here. And you're going back. Chest is staying up. Go down as far as you can. So we're working everything on the back essentially. So you inhale as the muscles lengthen, exhale as they get shorter. Inhale down, I'm sure this black door does not help with you seeing this go back, but yeah, your hips, you wanna go back. A couple more seconds, three, two, one. Okay, grab that band again. This is all activation, all activation. You're gonna love this next one actually. So we're gonna make a W. W. A Y into a W, sorry. So you're in a Y into a W. And I want you to keep that tension the whole time. So you in that Y, you have tension, and you make more when you go to that W. Think of your um, elbows going to meet. You want them to think about meeting. So I'm going to come around to the back. Make sure they are meeting. We are really getting those lats. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we have a push-up into child pose. This is not to kill you, it's just to warm you up. So I'm going to do it on my knees for that. You're going to do a push-up into child pose. 
Go ahead and go with me now. Push up and a child pose. I love this so much. Push up and a child pose. So we are just warming up those muscles. This is doing it a dynamic stretch essentially here more than anything. Really get those lats moving because we're going to be hitting them a lot today. Three, two, one. Okay, we're about to start the workout now. So we have this first circuit we're going to do three times. Um, in VIP, when I write this, you're going to do it four times. Um, and your times can be a little different. So you have a way to up this workout soon. So we have four exercises, 30 seconds each, same kind of structure, 10 second transition. We're going to do it three times. So I'm going to run through the, three extra, the four exercises real quick. So we're going to start with floor lat extensions. So you're going to uh, come here. This is where it's good to have a heavier weight. Hold it like a goblet squat. Make sure your TA is engaged. And you're going to go over your head. Elbows pointed out. You don't want them in. You want them pointed out to hit those lats. Over your head as much as possible. Tap it. Come back. These are super slow. You want to advance it a little bit. You can do a little bit of leg lifts with it. All right, second exercise, we have chest press. You're gonna grab both weights. I'm not gonna pick it up right now, because I'll show you. And we're just gonna go straight into chest press wide. So wrists are facing your knees. Then we have side plank reach throughs. You can use a weight, you don't have to use a weight. You can do it on your knee, up. We're doing side plank reach throughs. I may grab my weight, I may do it on my knees where I'm able to grab my weight. Whatever you want, right side, left side, and those are your four exercises. So go ahead and get comfy, because we're gonna be here for a minute. 30 seconds each, I will let you know when the time gets closer. I don't need this right now. It's probably best to put one of those weights on the other side, because you are gonna grab that for your chest press. Okay, we're doing this three rounds. You will have a rest before we do each round. So we'll have a little break, but we are doing different exercise muscles from the last one to the first one, essentially. We don't have to take as long as a break, so I'm gonna put, give us 30 seconds, and then I can skip it if we need to, so we can just get going, because we all got, we all have stuff to do this morning. So, overhead lat extension, straight into chest press, then we're gonna go and do our plank reach throughs, you all, your lats are going to be so, so sore tomorrow. So you definitely want to rest them until you, for the all, all weekend. So grab that weight. Oh. Get settled. Three, two, one. Let's go. If you don't want to do, you want to get used to it first, I'm going to do the leg lifts, the last two. I really want to engage my lats first. This is easy to do wrong, just so you know that. A lot of people bend their arms too much. We're not doing skull crushers. We're not working triceps. We're keeping the arms as straight as possible. Over halfway done. And we're pulling it in. TA is engaged the entire time. Three, two, one. Grab that weight. Get ready for chest press. 30 pounds chest press is pretty tough. I'm gonna see if I can go the whole 30 seconds, but you're going to. Ah, okay. So, chest press. TA is still engaged. Great way to work your TA. You can do a little more by doing a leg lift with it, but it's up to you. I throw that in trim boot camp a lot. I won't throw that in here. Ah, over halfway done. Inhale down. This is really heavy. Woo! All right, one more, get done and get, put them down. I'm gonna have that ready for me. All right, we have the reach throughs. I'm gonna do no weight the first time. Up, reach through, up, reach through. So still, inhale up and why? Because we're lengthening the muscle, shortening it. You always inhale. When you lengthen the muscle and you exhale, get that oxygen out when you are going through. Okay, three, two, one, drop it. 
Oh my gosh. Switching sides. I'm already sweating. I don't know about you guys. Three, two, one. Reach through and come up. Reach through and come up. Whoa, I'm shaking. Whoo. So yeah, I don't know if I can do 12s. I probably should have grabbed my fives for this. And you're probably thinking, well, obliques aren't a part of the raw bulge. Just so you know, everything's connected. You can't spot train, so we still have to work other things. Ready? And go down. Catch your breath for a second. You can't spot train. You can hit it with certain exercises, but like I said, everything's connected. Can you catch my breath for a second? We have two more rounds. Solid eight minutes circuit right here. Oh, all right, let's go ahead and get situated. I'm going to do those leg lifts this time. Ready? And let's go. Keep my TA. I don't have to go all the way to the ground. I'm still focusing on my lats. I don't want to overcompensate and not ta target my, my lats. This is just for me to work my TA. After two C-sections, if there's any time I can do TA breathing to keep my abs nice and strong together, I'm still working on it. Three, two, finish that one out. I'm uh, 17 months out, second C-section. I'm still working on my TA, you guys. All right, get down. Let's get those chest press. Go ahead and start. Progress is not linear. Inhale down. You always have room to grow. Results are not linear. You'll have ups and downs, but those ups and downs should not come from unhealthy and extreme healthy. That's the difference. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. I'm gonna grab the weight this time. I'm gonna stay on my knee, though. All right, go ahead and get up in that plank, because I still wanna focus. Don't wanna compromise form in what the workout is supposed to be doing, just so I can look cool. Because that, who cares? <sighs> exhale. Inhale, oh sorry, exhale down. I, I totally messed up breathing. <sighs> exhale down. Inhale up with weight. It's a little different because I'm having to, my tricep, going to finish this out. It's also working now with the weight. So this is progressive loading right here. I did no weight at the beginning. Get ready. I'm adding weight. That's a progressive loading workout. Tons of benefits. I put all of that stuff in a whole Instagram post for you guys. Talks about why it's beneficial. I can't tell it all right now. It's, I can't talk enough to be able to do it. Five, four, three, two, one, down. We have one more round. And then circuit one is done. This is one of my favorite, I love bath days because I get such a good workout, but I don't have to move much. In trim, Fridays are strictly upper body, which is for something, go ahead and get ready, I'm talking too much. There's just something about only working your upper body. All right, go ahead and get started and not having to use it. Use your lower body. Okay, I'm still doing TA breathing. Uh, trim ladies, if you're having trouble, make sure you tag your trainer, halfway done, um, and they will make sure you get to the TA breathing exercises in the app. We have tons of them. TA breathing is the core of everything. No pun intended. Last one, if you don't have a strong TA, you can't lift heavy, you're never going to get that strong core, you must do it. All right, let's get ready. Still doing 30s on these chest press. This is a lot for me. So 60 pounds total. Inhale down. Exhale up. 
Inhale, because you're opening the chest. Exhale, because you're closing it. Oh my gosh, halfway done. Oh, wow. Okay, keep going. I need to take like a two-second break, because this is a lot of weight for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, three. Finish this out. Get one more with me. Ah! Okay. That was not easy. All right. I'm going to do, let's get in that plank. I feel it more without the weight, honestly. So I'm not going to do the weight this time. But I did it once. I know how to work up to it. I don't usually do this movement that much. <sighs> Which is good. You don't want to do every movement, every exercise. If your workout is so long, you're hitting everything. <sighs> your muscle has memory. You want, to, you want to switch it up. You want to focus on certain extras. Don't stop. Sorry, my shoulder's cramping. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, switch. Yeah. Chest, these after chest press are not easy. Okay. And up and go. So exhale. Inhale. You all knew the last round, maybe you just did. I said I was kept throwing my breathing off. That's another indication my weight was too heavy. That means my form was compromised, breathing was compromised, and so I need to switch it. Four, three, two, one, and I fell from that early. Okay, next round, gonna be exactly the same setup. Just gonna go over the exercises. We're gonna do renegade rows. Renegade rows. I want to show these are really important to have right form, or else. They're really useless, honestly. So I'm going to use heavy weight. Why? Because I am trying to up my renegade rows. You don't have to be under the whole time in perfect form. You actually want to have, make sure your knees are stable for anything. If you have an incredibly strong core, you can go up. If you have 30 pounds, don't do toes. And I want you to focus on bringing it to your back pocket and back down. Back pocket back down. You're going to feel this in your lower core more than anything. So, like I said, make it sure I go over this well because it's super important. Don't do this. That's shoulder. Back, pocket, you're going to feel it right here. Right here and right here. All right, then, so we're doing alternating. Go slow. If you have lighter weight, you can go a little faster. Then we have chest flies. I will not be doing 30 chest flies. I will be getting my 12s if you want to do chest flies on the ground, that's fine. Or you want to come up here and do them this way. That's another way to do them with light enough weight. Can't breathe. Uh, and then we have, we're going to really hit that bra area with this. We're going to do one weight, one side. So we have compound workouts, exercises, and then we have unilateral. One second. I get straight to this. I am so, so sorry. You are going to what I was saying is for that next exercise where it is here on all fours. We're just bringing our arms straight back. No kickback. We're going down, straight back. You can do it in a plank if you want for more advance. Um, trim boot camp ladies, I will have the whole thing in the app where it's not cutting off. So I will make sure that's up there for you all to redo this workout another time. Okay, we're going to get started. And we're going to get go in about 10 seconds, get in that position. We're going to gate row first. You're going to have to make sure your knees, core is intense, at least strong, uh, secure. Pull. A little tip is dip that hip into that weight of your arm, and it will help you stay more sturdy. So instead of turning and wanting to lift this leg, kind of push into that leg. Exhale when you bring it up. I don't know if anybody got back on. <laughs> so sorry. And last one. Okay, we're going to go to chest flies. I hope I'm going to do these standing so you can kind of see this different variation of a chest fly. So you're out and coming back down. If I had heavier weight, I would not be doing, if I had more than 12s, I wouldn't be doing this. 
oh my gosh, okay, I gotta rest. This is still heavy weight. This is where I feel like I have too, like I don't feel my chest press. My weight's too light. I don't have any other heavier weights. You can do, ah, three, two, one. You can do them standing like that, and that's gonna really hit that area. Okay, ready? We're gonna do this uh, one side at a time. Let's go. So, think of yourself still going down, leaning into this side. So it's nice and secure. Halfway done. Making sure Facebook doesn't kiss, kick me off again. It's also why I don't do music when I'm doing the lives, because I never trust Facebook. Rest. They're gonna hear this and probably turn it off again. All right, let's get ready to the other side. It threw off my rhythm. Make sure you're exhaling when you go back. TA, we're not slouched, we're still engaging the TA muscle. Go, keep going. Inhale down. Exhale up. Three, two, one. Okay, we have a little rest before we go into those renegade rows again. This mat keeps moving on me. Okay, go ahead and get in position. We do want to take this whole 30 second rest because we are nonstop working these lats right here. Oh my gosh, I don't see the ladies back on live. I feel so bad, I'm so sorry. Oh. Ready? Let's go. Woo. So yeah, if you even think about picking up that other leg don't actually do that, but that's the mindset I want you to do. It makes you force into the leg. Halfway done. Like I said, 30s are not easy for renegade reps. Probably a 20 is my three, two, one, finish that up. 20 is probably my sweet spot. What do we have? Okay, I'm gonna do chest press on the ground to show you that. Just doing a variety. All right. Sorry, chest fly, I mean. So you're not over your face. You are over your chest. Sorry, exhale. Coming in. Ex inhale as you open the chest. Exhale, come in. Exhale, coming in. Sorry. I can't talk anymore. This is what happens at the end of workouts. So you guys know, if you focus on breathing, the workout goes super quick. Three two, one, because breathing is so much to focus on. So if you just focus on that. All right, let's start with this side. Inhale, make sure your core's engaged. And let's go. So I think before I said we do compound exercises, which is working multi-muscles. And we have singular which this is one side. So it's not that it's just multi, multi, you're working both sides. And this is just, this is very targeted. Three, two, one, put that down, switch sides. All right, three, two, one, engage that core, let's go. I have to be reminded all the time to myself to keep my core engaged. Don't want to slouch, don't want to swing, core engaged, back. You can breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. You just want to get all that oxygen out of your muscles. Three, two, one. All right, we have one more round. And then you guys are going to really like this third circuit. Very excited for it. I think someone's back on. I hope you're back on. I'm so sorry if you missed it. I'm posting, I'll post the full workout video in the Facebook group so you all can see it. Um, but yeah, or this will be posted in there too. So you, there's just two videos, 
but they're all tagged so you can get you an easy. Renegade row, last time. I'm gonna just keep, I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna think about it. Honestly, if I was by myself, I would probably just grab the 12s, but I'm not gonna do that because that's only cheating myself and I don't care to do anything but make myself better. Oh my goodness. Four, three, two, one. Oh, okay. Heavy weights are kind of done with. Put those to the side. Get those chest press, chest fly, I'm sorry. Lay down. Exhale. Inhale. So I have lighter weight. I probably do need heavier for this, which is fine. Doing muscle endurance during a lifting is not bad. Moving your body is never bad. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get these kickbacks. I'm gonna go to my toes this time. So I'm gonna progress it. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna go back down. Man, if I, I could probably do that alternating, focusing on one side. Ah, I'm gonna do the first three reps though for the other side in a plank. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna do the first ones. I'm gonna do it to make it balanced, but ah, three, two, one. All right, I gotta get at least 30. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm dropping. It doesn't have to be the exact same number. You're going to have a weaker side and you're going to have a stronger side. That's not bad. That's normal. But you still got to work both sides. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. All right, we have the last circuit. This one is going to be only 20 seconds each. So you should be excited about that. 20 seconds. I'm gonna change the timer to that. Other than that, same thing. Sorry, three exercises too, so not four. But one of them has three and one, two and one. So we're gonna first start with plank to toe taps. So we are gonna be here. We're gonna cross over and touch that toe. Here, cross over and touch that toe. If you can't do that, just do a plank. 30 second, 20 second plank, don't let them move. Then we're gonna go into banded W's one more time. I really want you to focus on pulling down, exhaling up. Sorry, exhaling down, inhaling up. When you're doing that, stay seated, or you can, uh, this is even better, takes out any kind of momentum and makes you really, really focused just on those lats. And then we're gonna end with a bent over row into a fly. So, doing lighter weight, because this is gonna be pure muscle fatigue. So you're gonna be here, coming back to the pockets again, not coming up, down, back to your pockets, and then going out to fly. So flying looks like this, elbows going together, not working shoulders, working back. So those are the three, three exercises. Let's get started so you can go to work. Okay, go ahead and get into that plank. You are here, three, two, one, reach. So, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Halfway done. You're really reaching, if you can only Go to here, that's fine too. You gotta know where you are to get to where you wanna be. Oh, I'm so sorry, you can rest. Um, now we have W's, so I'm gonna fully sit. Let's go. Inhale. Inhale. 
Inhale up. Your lats should be shaking at this point. Ah. And on the way up, finish this one out. Whew. On the way up, you should be shaking. Put those down. Last rep, grab those weights. Straight into it, 20 seconds is so much faster. All right, back and out. Back and out. Talk about a compound exercise, oh my goodness. I'm glad this is only 20 seconds for this one. Four, three, two, one. Rest for a second. Now, I usually do bent over rows with 30s or 40s, and 12s were enough for me, why? because we're doing a crazy compound. So that's where you can, if you have lighter weight, doing stuff like that will kind of make up for it a little bit and challenge you more. All right, we're gonna get started in three, two, one. Let's go. Plank and reach. Now, TA still engaged. You're just bringing those hips up Three, two, let's do last one. All right, we have these W's. My goodness, ready? Inhale up. Now, didn't burn a crazy amount of calories in this because it's lifting, so I don't care what your Apple Watch says. I don't care if you're like, I need to go do cardio. Don't go do cardio. Three, two, one. Your muscles are going to be working all day long because of this. As they recover, what do you think? How do you think muscles recover? They burn calories. So you get your cardio in. You can do a light jog on Saturday, Sunday. You get cardio on Monday, Tuesday, and trim. And you can do cardio on Thursday, but on lifting days, we want our muscles and our energy. All of our carbs, three, two, one. Give me one more pull. We want all of our carbs on our three lifting days to go to the muscles. We don't want it to go to the cardio energy. That's not what we want. Defeats the purpose of why we do carbs on this day. All right, we're gonna get started again in three, two, one. This is the last round, you guys. So, reminder, you're gonna wanna do cardio after this. I don't care if you do a five minute metabolic boost, that's fine. Don't do anything more than five to 10 minutes. Ready, one more, come down. So if you wanna do some burpees, mountain climbers, like do a little circuit, that's fine. You can find tons of them in our app. Ready, go. But when we have carbs, we break our fast in a little bit. Or even if you're not fasting and you break your fat or you just basically eat with carbs and protein, carbs are going to go straight to these muscles to recover today for energy just to, just to work. Protein, one more time, is going to go to actual development. So we don't want to deplete all of our carbs with cardio because that really defeats the purpose. Ready? Grab those weights. This is the last time. Let's go. Inhale. This is a hard one to breathe with, I'm not gonna lie. Just make sure you're breathing, how about that? I can't breathe and explain it at the same time. But biggest thing, three, two, one, you're done. I'm gonna go over a couple things of form while you cool down real quick. When you're doing these rows, again, we are not going up, we are going back. So in front to pocket. In front to pocket. Flies. We are not doing these. That is working shoulder. So from the side, it looks like this. We are front to the back. Front to the back. So still think of it that way. Almost think about your elbows going and drawing a circle on your core. Okay? If your elbows are drawing a circle around your body, that's, that's a different exercise. It's not that it's bad, but you're not targeting what you should. But we are good. 
So, I don't know if you're still there. I hope this didn't throw anybody's workout off. As I mentioned, the entire full workout will be in the app. So you can rewatch. Let's switch sides. I should probably hold these longer right now. Even though we didn't work legs, let's still bend down. Pedal out those toes, sorry, heels. Hold yourself and hug yourself and just hang. Sway side to side. But in the Facebook group, it will have both of these lives. You just got, and I have them all tagged. I don't know if you all realize. You can go to the tags or topics in the groups and you can see, you can get to all these lives, but they're only available for 30 days in the group. So you gotta make sure you get them done. Go and switch. And then they live forever on the app when you're doing, when you're actually doing trim. Okay. I don't know if I have commenting turned off on the Facebook one. So I'm not gonna ask you all to comment because I always mess up with that. So when I publish this, then comment that you did it. Um, and I'm so sorry, Facebook kicked me off. Facebook, please don't do that again. Um, okay, I will see you guys later. I'm